Hey guys, I wanted to do an updated what's in my bag video because I recently got a new bag. Um, it was a little bit before Christmas, actually it was right after Thanksgiving. I got it on one of the Kate Spade sales. She is really good at having amazing sales. Um, in this particular purse, I have wanted for probably the past four to five years, but it is definitely something that I would not have spent um, like my money on it. Um, when it was full price, just because I work for a living, I honestly live, um, you know, paycheck to paycheck, a little bit, I, you know, try to save as much money as possible, and now I'm just rambling about money, but, um, yeah, so when I saw this bag on sale, I knew that I had to have it, because, like I said, I've been wanting it forever. Um, I definitely felt some buyer's remorse just because I feel guilty for spending that much money on myself, especially so close to Christmas, um, but uh, I just had to have it, and Walter, my fiancé, was very supportive and kind of pushed me to get it just to treat myself, and I'm very thankful for that. So anyway, without further ado, this is the bag. It is the Kate Spade Gold Coast bag. It's the larger one. Um, it has this nice um, chain detailing. It is gold. Yeah. <laughs> Questionable. Um, it's like a light gold, like metal. Very durable. Um, and it is a nice black shiny leather. It almost, like if you look at it, it almost looks glittery, but it's not. Um, and then let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh. So it has like a little latch that comes across right here, but then when you open that, it has three or two big pockets and then a zip pocket down the middle, um, a zip pocket back here, and oh, um, little side pockets right here. So I will go ahead and get into what's, oh, I have a hair on my lip, what is in um, this, what I consider the first pocket since it is like next to the front of the purse, I would say anyway. Um, first thing I have is this um, headband slash like earmuffs, but not really. Um, I just keep that in there for when I go outside, when I'm driving, my heat doesn't, or my car doesn't have very good heat slash not any heat at all. So I definitely need that to keep that in my purse so I can stay warm. And then I have these um, gloves that have the, I think all of them are touch screen. I know for a while you, you can only get like these two touch screen gloves, but um, I got these this, this year from Target for I think like $3, and all of them are touch screen. Oh, and I got this from Target as well, I think last year or the year before that. Um, so anywho, I have these which have been stable in my purse since my last what was in my, what's in my bag video. Um, little tiny thing of floss that I got from the dentist. Um, a little macaroon that I keep um, pills like Tylenol in and Advil and ibuprofen. And then I have my Chloe sunglasses. My sister gave these to me and I actually really like them. They look very vintage, I think. And I like big sunglasses. And I recently lost my um, Ray-Ban Wayfarers which was tragic because I'd had them since 2009 and I lost them last year. I left them at a restaurant. Oh, it just made me sick. And I called the next day to ask if they'd been turning and they hadn't. And there was, like, the restaurant was pretty much closed after that, so I know our waiter probably took them. And that makes me really sad. But anyway, I have a Burt's Bees, um, the Nivea Lip Butter in Caramel Cream Kiss, and then I have my earbuds, um, and then just have them kind of kept together with a little clip like this, or a hair clip claw thing. Okay, and then, so that is all that's in like the pocket, big pocket, so next I'll do the tiny little side pocket. I have this pen that has gummy bears on it, I think this was in my purse last time. Um, Trident gum, staple, um, oil absorbing sheets, which I've had forever a hair tie, among many I'm sure, a tiny little nail file, this um, Lolia Calm Lotion 
Um, I got this as a bridesmaid's gift for my best friends, for my best friend for um, her wedding. And then I have a Tazo Pasha tea bag. I went to um, Nashville, one of the last days I was in Nashville. It is a restaurant, it's um, like a little delicatessen type restaurant. And I got tea and I uh, swiped a bag. Oops. And then, lost something. I'm not gonna really pull, well maybe I'll pull these out because I should probably just put them up. I have a ton of bobby pins, a ton, a ton. You can't see it if my hand's closed. Ah, look at all that. This is where all the bobby pins go, to the bottom of your purse. And then I have a little clear elastic, which I'm surprised I even managed to get that out since it's clear. Okay, that's all in pocket number one. Pocket number two is all like lip glosses and lipsticks. First one is my Rimmel um, Show Off Lip Lacquer in Aurora, which is just this really nice um, like red color. I've shown this in a video before. Um, and then I have another Rimmel Show Off in Stellar, which this one is just it's that one right there. It's a super bright pink. And then I have my um, NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. So many swatches. That top one right there. Make sure I don't get any on my fingers. Um, my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. That one's really nude right there. So you can tell I love the glossy lipsticks. Um, this Revlon Lip Butter in Cherry Tart, which looks like that. Which is right there. And then my latest addition to my lipstick collection, which is the Urban Decay um, Lipstick in Fiend. And I love color I have it on right now. Where shall I swipe you? Right the. Love that. Oops. I wore these in our engagement picture, so can we see how that turns out? I believe I found another bobby pin. So that is all for the first pocket. It is all cleared out. I'll go ahead and go to the second large pocket, which is like the back of the purse. Um, First, I still have my planner from 2013. I don't know why. I think I'm still just trying to adjust um, everything from 2013 over to 2014. Um, but yeah, I showed this in my last video, or my last bag video. And then I have the, um, this is an address book inside. I'm trying to collect addresses for our wedding so we can send out invitations. And I would try to pronounce this but I know I will fail miserably and it will be horribly embarrassing so I'm not even going to try to. Um, and then I have this year's planner which I love, love, love. Look at that. Cats. Who would have thought? Um, it says like Le Chat. Le Chat. No, just stop Kelly. 2014. Meow. Cats, 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 cats. And then on the inside, I like this because it's a lot tinier than last year's. Um, another little cat personal information like my address and such. I don't there aren't really like many pictures of the actual cats throughout the planner, which is kind of upsetting. Um but anyway, this one's actually a lot more um compact than the last one. And then there are let me show you this. There's like actual big months. Um like I guess an overview. And then all these gummy bears have things that I need to do for our wedding at the beginning of each month. So next month, I have to hire a photographer, which I kind of have one in mind, hire a caterer, which I kind of have one in mind, reserve hotel rooms, register, and website, question mark, create a website if I want one. And then in the back, because this is going to become super useful, I'm sure, living in Lexington, Kentucky, there is an underground from the London map, from the London, from London, a Paris metro map and Manhattan subway map. All these are going to come very um, useful for me, I'm sure. So yeah, that's my planner for this year. And then another notebook. I am obsessed with notebooks and 
unfortunately I did not write in them enough. This is like what I'm keeping notes in for our wedding. Um, I have phone numbers for hotels to block guest rooms. I have our guest list. And then um, just some notes from when I met with our wedding coordinator. And the pages of this is this, this notebook are really pretty. So there's like some, there's some, those are the exact same. There's some, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just like maybe three different designs. Yeah, this is a gorgeous notebook and I love it. And I love pulling it out and writing notes in it for our wedding because it makes me really excited. I have an Eat Up Nashville Originals Fall and Winter 2013 book. This has top restaurants to eat at in Nashville. Um, you can get one of these, I think, at any restaurant that the, any restaurant that is named in this, you can pick one up at that restaurant. Nashville is in here. I think that's where I picked this one up from. My sister's restaurant that she works at is in here. Let me find it. And I'll put order. Okay, let me look at this. 14. Oh, I passed it. F. Scott's Restaurant, Jazz, F. Scott's Restaurant, and Jazz Bar, and it is amazing, and that's where she works, she's the pastry chef there, um, and then I just have little tabs because I'm um, trying to find some restaurants to have our rehearsal dinner at, so I'll keep that in my purse, and then I have a blueprint to what our wedding will look like in reception, and then I have um, a rough draft of our guest list in my purse. And I'm scared to throw this away because I'm still scared that there's not a name on that list that is the final list. So I just keep it in here in case, um, just in case. And then I have my glasses, which are also my second video or my first video from Coach. And they're just a tortoise shell glasses, like print. And the inside is stripy. This is what they look like on. Maybe we'll keep them on for the rest of the video. Okay, so that's it in that pocket, and then in the back pocket I have a card um, from someone's wedding that I still need to send off from waiting for their address. I have my favorite type of pen, which is the Sharpie pen. Um, every time I'd go to Target, I would just pick up another one, and I think I'm missing my purple, but it's in France, um, which is one of our, uh, like our computer room. And then I have another pen, and another pen, you can't have too many pens and then a sheet of uh, people from work and months because we choose um, different restaurants to eat at per month based on whose month it is. Okay, so that is all in those two sections. So my purse is being like very empty. And now for the middle zippy part, which I keep kind of the most important things in, like my checkbook. Let's mark off anything that's important. So all you can see right now is Minnie Mouse's face. I have Disney checks. Um, I am 27 years old. Oh my god. Did I just share something? I hope not. No shame. Um, well, some people commented that I didn't show my wallet in the last video, and I don't know why. I think I, like, took it out, um, and I never showed it, but it's something special. It's just a, um, wristlet that Walter got me for Valentine's Day one year. It's a black coach wristlet. Um, I need to get a bigger, like, adult wallet. This is just so easy to grab. I have loose change down in there and a coupon and then I just have a bajillion different cards let me put my IDs up my Starbucks card credit cards um, I am obsessed obsessed with punch cards so I've got punch cards aplenty any place that offers a punch card that I go I take one even if I don't go there that often like there's a place for Nashville in here this back and then I just have like frequent buyer cards I guess just organize this I want it to stay organized um I'm sure there's these like I have a pet supermarket Panera Sephora Sephora <laughs> Anthropology Subway Cadoba Regal Crown Club and Bare Minerals and then I just have some insurance cards and business cards and then an orange leaf um frequent buyer card and a target card that I need to use up so that is everything that is in my wallet, um, and then I have a check that I need to give to Walter, and then this is something that is very exciting. Oh, that's just teeth. Thought it was a ghost. Um, it is 
my laser tag scorecard. Um, I pretty much sucked, um, but I love going anyway. My friends and I almost try to see who can be the worst at playing laser tag. I stole Walter's name for this round because Walter was attacking us the round before, so I wanted him to feel like he was attacking himself. So that was my name of this round. Um, I don't think this told me what place I came in. Oh, I was ranked 11 out of 15 players, so that kind of gives you a clue as to how much I suck. And then... I think this was the third game. This game there was a bunch of like preteens, so my friends and I chose um, like pop stars. My name was Wendy, and then there was like a Miley and a Taylor Swift. That's all the people that hit me at least. I think there was like Ariana Grande and Selena, um, but yeah. So this one I came rank 11 out of 17 players, so not too bad. A little better when you consider the odds. Um, but yeah, love playing laser tag. Okay, and then I have a business card that I just picked up today. My work keys. My house keys. Ooh. Which I have, um, this cute little, like, what are these things called? Just these, like, nesting dolls. This is my car key. I have this Victoria's Secret bag that I've had since high school. I have my Planet Fitness. Um, member card, a rape whistle, <laughs> and a Ron Weasley. Let's make his face. So there's him. His face is all, ah, that's concerned. And then we can do this face. Just average face. So yeah. That is everything that is in my purse. Nothing fell out. That's good. <gasps> I got lipstick on the inside. Anyway, um, anything else to tell you about this bag? I think it was originally like $400, $500, I'm not sure, but I got it for $199. So that was an amazing deal, especially on a purse that I've wanted for a very long time, and it's, again, something I would never normally purchase for myself. Um, but I am very happy with this purchase. It does fill up fast. It is easy to make this purse weigh a bajillion tons. So I try to keep it cleaned out as often as possible. Um, and this is kind of like the bare minimum stuff I like to keep in here, minus probably the 2013 planner because I really don't need that anymore. But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day slash week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!